What is going on guys? In today's video we will be talking about seat covers for your XC60. This is my father's XC60 as you all know. And the way we protect it is via all season mats, the tux mats. And since he has the Alcantara new buck seats in our design for the 2019, we were looking where he wanted seat covers. So this is the one that we found and he likes it a lot because it matches the interior also it's uh, waterproof and everything now I already installed three out of four because the inserts are for front passenger front driver and the rear two passengers the middle seat for the R designs are new buck I'm not new buck sorry Napa leather so this is all leather for the 2020 plus models you got your Napa leather all over these inserts. So you got your Napa leather here, Napa here, and then some sort of uh, open textile upholstery here. Versus the 2019s, you got your leather, leather, and then your new buck, which I, I like a lot. But um, it does get pretty uh, um, tedious to clean. So that's a sacrifice for your sporty look. And what we have today is these seat covers, and these are Neocraft. And there's so many on Amazon, but we decided to go for these because of the reviews. Here's just a quick unboxing, try and do it with one hand. You have your seat belt sleeves, which is also neoprene. And here are the seat covers, which I'm gonna to try to install with, with one hand. These are pretty useful. I have one, I actually put one in my golf because of the fact that it saves your seatbelt from getting frayed up from your zippers when you have a jacket on during the winter or springtime. So these are really good. Now, here it is. We are gonna unravel this. So much for the uh, impromptu, very impromptu video. I'm trying to get this done via one hand. But this is very, it stinks. It smells right off of the, uh, the factory. All right, so neoprene material. They have a um, label here for your wash instructions. But these are neoprene seat covers, neo Neoprene SBR foam fabric is 100% polyester thickness is two millimeters newcraft.com made in China All right right behind it you have some securing fasteners or just securing belts they do have a buckle in the back these are actually not really for the rear seats these are actually for the front passenger and driver however as you can tell from here you could you could any arm any seat that has a headrest you could just use it kind of retrofit it hang it on the armrest or I mean the headrest and it should be okay the thing about the Volvos this is electronic so when it folds down if I could have it autofocus my pixel 2 all right it might create some sort of a, a little bit of a dilemma but it should be a fine since everything else stays in place Installation is as following as as follows. All you have to do is hook up this like so, and then you're you're set. You're good to go. All right. And in terms of the fasteners, my father installed everything here, and he has a fastener around the the seats. Same with the passenger, but with these rear passenger seats, you could just go ahead and just kind of spread out these um, seat covers. What I recommend is basically air these out because they will give your car a distinct smell. All right, but other than that, here is the final product. You could, um, you have these fasteners on the side as well for you to anchor it. The front passenger seat and the front drivers are fine, all right? But the rear passenger, you will have some trouble anchoring everything. But again, just to stress, these are compatible rear seats. 
right? It might kind of mess up or kind of, um, how do I put it? It might clash with the interior, but I mean, you got your piping here, you got your stitching here, so it kind of matches in a way. I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can get a better look. Excuse the wind noise. Front view. And then rear view. All right. And once it um, unravels, the wrinkles are gonna disappear. And then you should be good to go. All right, and this is a quick six minute video of how everything is. All right, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.